Hey everyone, it's Connor Beck from this old farm. And today we're gonna do a short one for you guys again. I'm not I'm not gonna have time to be able to do a lot of editing. Um this coming weekend is Sport Fest weekend, and I have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday off from work, and so I've only got all of Monday to edit because I'm probably coming up here Tuesday night. So um anyways. Today's Sunday, didn't make a whole lot, any video for you guys the past two days, and well, this is what we've been working on. It's a Sunday show. I was going over here. He's gonna grab the Super C because we're gonna pull the John Deere H around. Um, Help me move this tether quick. Guess we're moving the tether first. Um, we're trying to align every get everything put into the equipment lot here. So that when Rick sells out, it's easy for the auctioneers, right? No, I said when I die. <laughs> <laughs> There's no selling out, but dying is an option. Hold on, I gotta set up the camera. All right, you guys can watch this screw around. Don't put it down there. Oh. Yeah. Come on. So we're gonna get the John Deere moves. Pull that around. And then uh Aiden. Aiden. And 2404 is gonna be screwed with and yeah. We got a bit dead to do, so we'll talk to you guys in a little bit, I guess. one-handed It's running. Started up just like it ran yesterday. Went through and aired up the tires on it. Because that one, that one, and the back left one were flat. I'm trying to go flat already. Oh, it's just a mark. Yeah, the old 303 is nicely so we gotta get this out of the way we pulled the planter and the little trailer thing out and then we can drive this out so we'll bring you guys back when we're pulling her out
quite a bit has changed since we last checked you guys. Obviously when we last brought you along we had the combine moving about. So first order of change kind of ish. Um, we'd, we, we'd, we'd whipped around the camper some. Tried to clean that up. We moved the 2404's original tires over here. We uh, moved a couple things over to this spot here. We also got this nice and cleaned up. The 400 diesel has got to get moved around here eventually. I don't know when or where it's going, but it's going somewhere because it's not staying there. Um, pulled the plow off of that Dodge pickup truck that's been sitting in the customer row parking for forever. Finally, that's going on old blue at some point in time. Got the um, loader attachments over this way. Track for the excavator. Excavator. All the tractors are over here, including all the way down to the economy. Rick wants to put the Cub Cadet over here, but I don't know that I really want to put that over here. Um, I'd rather keep that by the shed where it can get worked on at some point in time. Um, what else? Corn planter is out here just for the time for board press, basically. Rick wants to keep the the pole barn cleaned out to do um, for bark fest so that in case it rains or whatever people can shuffle into the pole barn and not you know we don't have to worry about getting rained on and stuff outside so that's where the combine combine got parked 2404 is down there rick moved the international disc mower down there as well we've got the three plows brought down here uh and i think that's all that's changed since we last kind of showed you the area here that's kind of being considered dead duck row so that's why the 2404 is down there that the 400 diesel might go down there somewhere either that or it's going to go up over the hill um back by the cattle and the uh, cattle shed to be and all that so yeah it's looking a heck of a lot better things are really cleaning up nicely and looking nicely and all of that so once we get that 400 diesel moved that'll be that'll help a lot with the way the area looks and such so also, it's nice having all of that discs and junk down there cleaned up and, you know, whatnot. Eventually, that's going to get disced out and turned back into yard where the uh, where we didn't plant corn, where all them discs and all that garbage was parked. So, yeah, it's cleaning up fast. We'll have to throw a tire on that and... I don't know what we'll do about the flat one on the other side. But, yeah. That's uh, kind of where we're at for the time being. We'll, uh, I'm not sure when we'll bring you guys back, but we'll bring you back for something, I'm sure. So, we'll talk to you in a second, I guess. And just like that, we're cutting her off in the truck again. It's the end of another weekend. Another long weekend. That was a lot of work, but... It looks nice. It makes things a lot more better, a lot more organized and all that. And it uh, is well worth it. So, anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed. I don't know how much footage we exactly got for you, but we got you something at least. So, enough to make at least a farm update, if nothing else. So, yeah, this week's Bork Fest week. We're coming up probably Tuesday night. So, by the time... When you guys see this, I'll be up here again already. Um, we took off the rest of the week, so yeah, that's exciting. We'll uh, talk to you guys maybe next week. I don't know what we're going to gather for you for footage, being that it's Borkfest weekend, but uh, maybe we can get you something. I don't know. There'll be some track. I know there's at least going to be some tractor work because 
we want to do a tractor drive on Friday, I guess, or something like that. So I'm sure we'll get you something. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. It's very, very much appreciated. And uh, we'll talk to you guys all next week.